Video shows Arizona cop fatally shooting man in a wheelchair. I, what, I don't know what I'm supposed to say about this. Arizona cop fatally shoots man in a wheelchair nine times in the back. I'm sure he posed a very deadly threat. I, like, I, I don't, I'm not sure what I can say about this. Just watch and be sad. I don't, I don't, if I have nothing to say, I have nothing to say. Hold on. Off-duty Arizona cop working as a Walmart security guard shot a 61-year-old man in a wheelchair nine times in the back, killing him after the disabled man allegedly shoplifted. Oh, okay. They are protecting property. It's okay, lads. They are protecting property. It's all right. It's justified. I thought it was for no reason, but he might have, he might have stolen, uh, you know, a, a pack of gum and was zooming away. Uh, he had swiped a toolbox, the man in the wheelchair. Um, an employee caught up with the suspect, identified later as Richard Lee Richards, and asked him to show a receipt in the parking lot. Instead of providing the receipt, Mr. Richards brandished a knife and said, here's your receipt, police chief Chris Magnus said in a statement. The chief said Remington, four-year member of the Tuscan police force, also followed Richards while attempting to gain his cooperation and surrender the blade. Mr. Richards refused to comply, instead continued to head through the Walmart and Lowe's parking lots. Uh, according to the Walmart employee, Mr. Richards said, if you, want to put me, if you want me to put down the knife, you're going to have to shoot me. Uh, a second officer then joined, ballsy move on the wheelchair guy. A second officer then joined Remington at the scene where they warned the suspect not to enter the Lowe's, but he again repeatedly ignored the commands. The graphic video shows Richard begin to enter the store as Remington tells him, do not enter the store, sir. He then opened fires at the suspect, who slumps over and crumples to the ground after being hit nine times. Remington is then seen handcuffing the man who is not moving. Hand nine times, then you're handcuffed? Okay. That might be police procedure, but that seems remarkably unnecessary to put out, bring out the handcuffs for the person who was shot nine times. The, 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 the wheelchair-bound person who was shot nine times. To be clear, I am deeply disturbed by Officer Remington's actions. His use of deadly force in this incident is a clear violation of department policy. Oh, nice. An explicit condemnation from the police chief. Uh, and directly contradicts multiple aspects of our use of force training, uh, Magnus said in a press conference on Tuesday. As a result, the department moved earlier to terminate Officer Remington. Uh, oh, adding that the shooting would be reviewed by the Pima County Attorney's Office. Oh, I'm. Well, that's nice. I guess I, I'm. I'm. I'm glad the police chief was willing to condemn him in no uncertain terms. Uh, I can't show any of this article on stream, by the way. It has pictures taken from the video feed, which show quite a lot. I'm afraid. Magnus said the medical personnel were called to the scene, but quote quote. But a short time later, Mr. Richards was declared dead. Not surprising. Mike Story, an attorney from the Tucson Police Officers Association, said, What you saw was the police department's edited version of the event, which was cut and pasted pieces of video of this event. An attorney for the Tucson Police Officers Association. Tucson? Oh, Tucson. I don't... Is this French? I don't respect the French, but fine. Uh, Tucson. Um, Tucson. Isn't that a place in Witcher 3? I don't care. Anyway, um, so the, the attorney for the Police Officers Association claims the video that we saw was edited by the police department. Wait, so are they pro or anti? He thought it was appropriate at the time to use deadly force, and he still does, the attorney added. In a statement, Mayor Regina Romero said, the actions of the officer are unconscionable and indefensible. The county attorney's office has my full support as they proceed with their investigation. So is, is anybody defending? I, I can't really tell if the attorney, Mike Story, is claiming the video was edited to incriminate the police officer or edited to exonerate the police officer. I genuinely don't know here, but it doesn't seem like anybody is holding water for the attack. Which is nice. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, investigations continue. Yeah, I, I mean, this, this seems fairly indefensible. I'm gonna watch the video. Can I? Yeah, here's the video. I'm, I'm, I, it's a minute long. I'm just going to mute the desktop audio for my stream. So, uh, I'll live react to it, okay? It'll be like one of those YouTube videos where they, they live react to something. Okay, I'm not, we're not showing, we're not sounding. 
uh, unless you're into sounding, which I'm not, uh, seems uncomfortable. Wow, that was the least justified shooting I've ever seen in my life. Holy shit. Wow. I actually genuinely wish I could show this to you guys, and I absolutely cannot, but that, I, I, I ha, I, I'll, I'll admit that, you know, I, I was a little bit impressed by that one. Send link, just Google cop wheelchair. Let me see that again. Hold on. This looks like a body cam being taken by another officer who's arriving, I'm thinking. So there are... There are two police officers approaching. The first one was the one who was there first, and the second one, the one whose perspective that we're seeing, is the new officer. They both run on up to this guy as he's very slowly wheelchairing towards the Lowe's entrance. I mean, I think this is an electric wheelchair. He's not booking it, okay? This guy does not have Chad arms and is, like, zooming by rolling the wheels forward. Uh, he's, he's, he's got, like, the little click clicker, you know, and he's clicked it forward, you know? Uh, he's, he's not, he's not zooming. So the second officer shows up. Both of them point their gun at the guy, but the first officer actually fires many times at this person who, again, moving so slowly. You can actually see in the body language of the cop who arrived second, the one who didn't shoot, that uh, she was shocked by the decision. Like, like she points her gun at the guy, which she has the right to, because he's brandishing a knife and threatening to go into the lows. But then, like, the first guy shoots, like, nine times, and her gun just slowly lowers. Like, she, she, like, she clear, like, she's very clearly, like, shocked. Yeah, and from, okay, it's impossible to see without seeing the, ang the, the, the angle from the first cop's video feed, but it almost looks like the angle taken from the cop who fired first put... Wait, hold on. Okay. I don't know this for sure. I'm going to approximate this in paint. Hold on. I'm going to approximate this in paint. Uh, and by paint, I mean Clip Studio Paint, not because that's what I use. Okay, this is like a bird's eye angle. Uh, this, is, this is wild. So basically... Um, okay, yeah. So basically, here's like the wheelchair guy. And he's zooming forward at like three miles an hour, okay? And then two cops approach at a back angle from either side, okay? Cop one is the one who will fire, and cop two is the one who doesn't, okay? They both approach at an angle like this and get about yay close. I mean, maybe, I don't know, five, ten feet from the chair. They both raise their gun. The first cop fires, okay? The entrance to the store is like right here. Let's say the door is like right here, okay? Um, uh, the first cop, once he arrives, like, here-ish, approximate drawing, fires at this angle or so, you know, I mean, at the diagonal angle, but he doesn't seem to fire down. He fires forward. The issue is, in the security footage that you see afterward, there's a worker, like, inside the store, like, in this area. Like, the angle, I mean, the, the worker wasn't hurt, but the angle looks like the bullets could have easily fucking hit this other guy. I'm gonna watch it again on my end. Like, the angle looks, I mean, at least within a few degrees, I mean, it was close enough. He wasn't firing down, so the shots would hit the ground here, which ricochets could still kill a person behind that, but uh, he just shot forward. Hold on. Yeah, it looks like the cop walks around a little bit as he starts firing, so the shots are going off more to the side, but it still looks insanely risky, especially since this guy is moving again at like two miles an hour. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm sorry, I can't show it. That's the best approximation I can give, but like, yeah, fuck. Look, can, could they just not have kicked the chair? <laughs> it's a dude in a wheelchair. Talk about a layup for a fucking heroic cop takedown, man. Jesus, fuck. Couldn't you have just run up and kicked it? What, he's gonna, like, slash at your leg? I don't fucking kick it. Jesus Christ. Just kick the chair over and handcuff him. He's in a fucking wheelchair. Jesus Christ. Why didn't he stop the chair? They they could have, like, thrown a rock in front of the wheelchair. Fucking, quickly, stop him, you know, fucking, woo, and, woo, you know. Jesus, fuck. Well, I mean, we'll see what the investigation shows, but holy shit, that looks bad. Um, they're trained to use the guns before anything else. Well, even the police chief is condemning it. The, even the police chief, like, right away is saying this is a violation of our use of force regulations. So I don't even... 
it, whatever their laws on the book are, yeah. Cops in America, like, are not trained for de-escalation whatsoever. They have, like, two modes, and it's like, can I resolve this with no threat to my person? No? Okay, well, we're using our gun. That's like, that. there's such, it seems like there's such an unwillingness to ever, for a cop to ever put themselves in, like, a little bit of danger to, to potentially save lives or de-escalate, you know? Um, which should be their job, obviously. That would save more lives. Uh, not to say no cops ever do that. It's just there, there are known problems with how in the United States cops are trained to behave. At least it wasn't a social worker trying to shot. Yeah, dude, a social worker probably would have kicked over the wheelchair. I would have kicked over the wheelchair, okay? Call this bravado. I know knives are scary, but if a guy in a wheelchair, an electric wheelchair, no less, okay? Electric wheelchairs turn incredibly slowly. If a guy in an electric wheelchair was menacing people with a knife, I would feel comfortable kicking the wheelchair over. I, I, would, I would not think, like, I can't handle this, you know? I would think, I can... I can probably just kick that over, you know? Or just, like, get behind it? If you're in a wheelchair, can you... Wait, what? You know what I mean? Just, like... Yeah, and I'm not even wearing, like, armor and shit, you know? It's, it's just... I just feel like there are other opportunities. <laughs> there are other ways of handling that. Uh, I, we'll, we'll see how it goes. What if he threw the knife? Oh shit, you're right. What if he What if he's faking the disability? That would be such a fake out, dude, you know. If the cops like, "All right, sir, we're taking you down." And they like run up and like kick the chair. The 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 chair flies backwards because the man is no longer in it. He's done a forward flip. Okay? He throws the knife in midair. It does the fucking lands in the cop's head. It could happen. I do feel like that has to be the the cop internal dialogue though, right? Like cuz cuz it's a joke how paranoid cops are, you know what I mean? Like, they're, at all times, they're thinking, like, okay, well, what if the knife actually has a secret gun in the hilt? You know, like one of those old guns that people would bring while gambling in the Wild West, you know? Like, okay, maybe the knife's not dangerous, but maybe, you know, if he holds it like this, the, there's a one-shot, you know, barrel in the, in the, in the, in the base of it, and he, there's a button that I can't see. <laughs> you know, could happen. You never know.